Ships or Shipsy? Only you can decide. Find out more at shipz or z.com. Hi everyone, this is Irina bringing you this week's Supply Chain Minute. And this week I'd actually like to go back for the past two episodes and really recap what we discussed. Um, So what we looked at is um, the fact that there are different operating margins in different omni-channel distribution strategies. And of course, not only does it cost us differently to distribute the product, but and when we look at those returns through different channels, that cost structure is also different. And so we, we specifically looked at um, curbside pickup, buy online pickup and store, and then the cost difference between those models and then also the fulfill in store um, and then deliver to home from store and kind of how the stark differences in that operating margin um, and how much lower the operating margin is for that home delivery from store. Because we're making use of talent that doesn't currently exist and systems that don't currently exist. Um, And so this specific episode, I'd like to focus on what can we do to improve and take advantage in the cases where that in-store fulfillment makes sense? What can we do to improve that customer experience and continue to capitalize on this structure to potentially continue to improve that margin? So one of the hardest things to do from in-store is inventory management. There's a lot of moving parts um, and real-time inventory management doesn't really exist in a lot of retail stores. And so when we place our order online, either for curbside or buy online, pick up in-store or even from in-store delivery, um, there's a lot of noise, a lot of delay and a lot of lag. And so um, it one of the first things that retailers need to address to be able to really take advantage of these storefronts and their inventories is that real-time management of inventory at the store location and then redirecting the skills of the workers within those retail locations to really respond and understand the needs and demands of the uh, online purchasing customers. Um, So I really think that this is a world of opportunities and whether they be small or large retailers um, carrying multiple brands or brand specific, I think that optimization at the retail front provides different challenges and again, different opportunities in terms of overall network data management, but also location optimization um, for specific regions, um, which also provides that information that, um, that, that, that can help with the planning and that omni-channel um, optimization overall for different organizations. So again, I'm really hoping that you guys um, share with us a little bit of what um, has prompted some changes in your supply chain over the past year and also uh, what are some upcoming changes that you're planning. Thanks. Talk to you soon. Bye.